Live from the internet, it's the Dr. Tom the Frog Show! Hi-ho! This is Dr. Tom the Frog, and you're watching the Dr. Tom the Frog Show, where we talk about role-playing games! Now, I want to real quick let you know that behind me, this is known as, as the Giants... Uh, castle. This is from uh, Jeff Brown. Jeff Brown Graphics. He, he cleverly donated our, our where our location is tonight. Uh, so that's enough talking about that. I'll have a link in the show notes. Now we're going to bring on a special guest. Now first of all, I want to apologize. I'm not very good with names, uh, but we have Nat Han Paoletta. How are you doing, Nat <laughs> Han? I'm I'm good. I'm good. You're you're close. The preferred pronunciation is actually Nathan. I know, it blends together. It's weird. It's an Italian thing. Okay. Well, I I apologize. No, it's yeah. cool. It's cool. I don't want you to feel bad. Now, so, you you are like a one-man shop of awesome, make all kinds of games. I try, yeah. I, I, I uh, have varied interests, so my games tend to be pretty uh, about lots of different kinds of things, for sure. I, I, I don't want to freak you out. But I think someone is standing behind you, Nathan. I, I don't. I don't know what you're talking about. That you don't see him. Are you okay? I mean, you're the doctor here, but. Hmm. I mean, do we need to consult another professional of some kind in this interview? We, I, I may have to phone a friend. All right, all right Nathan. Nathan, I understand <laughs> you're wearing a, a shirt, a pretty interesting shirt there for a, for your RPG. Uh, the worldwide wrestling. I understand you just finished a Kickstarter on that last year, and for some reason you decided not to offer beer cozies or trucker hats. Why is that? Well, you know, there's only so much merchandising that a, that a one-man uh, operation can make happen. And uh, you know, while it's very tempting to go ahead and just put the logo on everything, um, I had to make some strategic choices, and it, it was beer cozies or the actual game. And, you know, not being a marketing genius, being a game designer, I decided the actual game was probably a slightly higher priority. But I did manage to do shirts. There's five different shirts uh, that went out to some of the higher-level backers who are awesome, and then I have extras uh, for people who, who want to check those out, um, as well as uh, some very nice um, 8 by 10 glossy posters featuring the 10 uh, wrestler archetypes of the game. All right. Well, I'll let you go, but I'm thinking, you know, third printing is time when you go for the koozies and, and trucker hats. Well, if uh, if the merch sells, then I can look into some additional options. But if it ends up just uh, sitting in a box in my in my closet, then I might have to reconsider. So oh, that's, that's capitalism for you. That's how it works. Uh, now, so I, what if? I'm asking for a friend. What if I hate wrestling? Why would I want to play this game? Well, if you hate wrestling, you probably don't want to play the game. If you don't know anything about wrestling, like you've just never watched it, or you don't, you know, it's just not something that's been in your sphere, um, the game is, is pretty much built to bring all the cool stuff about wrestling to the table without making you go and, like, watch a bunch and read a bunch of stuff and find out what it is. Because it's really more about... It's about these, like, over-the-top, uh, high-energy, high-action characters in these very basic storylines. There's a good guy, there's a bad guy. Um, they're clashing uh, in front of all these people, and it's all about putting together uh, a great show for people to watch, your imaginary viewing audience, and uh, about... Um, just the pageantry and drama of these, like, very clear-cut roles clashing, so. My production assistant, Richard, he says that it's, it's pretty much just a man's soap opera. Is that about right? Um, I mean, it's a soap opera with punching. Um, whether that's particularly male or not, I, I'm, I'm agnostic on. Uh, but it is, um, you know... The, 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 the violence, right, the actual wrestling part, the, the punching and the moves and hitting each other with, uh, you know, weirdly named maneuvers and stuff, that's part of, that's, it's, it's, it's what drives the entire thing. 
because everything about wrestling gets settled in the squared circle, right? You have these clashes. Uh, you know, this guy insulted you. This guy stands for something you don't stand for. Uh, you know, this lady, um, you know, stole your husband, whatever. And instead of, like, normal people settling those with selling those disputes with words and possibly legal action, uh, it all comes down into the ring, and then you get to um, you get to see them do these really legitimately amazing feats of athleticism in order to tell those stories. But yeah, it's basically punching. I mean, that's the drop. Like, let's not lie. I I appreciate your honesty, <laughs> Nathan. All right, now I've got a serious question for you. Now, are you are you ready for my right. serious question? I'm ready. Okay. I was told I might have to take some notes by, by your showrunner. So. But, yeah. Oh, okay. You're getting <laughs> prepped now. I see. Hmm. This one's going to be harder then. All right. Nathan Paoletta, what is your favorite ice cream flavor? Oh, man. I mean, I would say that... Now I'm having trouble because I can't remember what it's actually called. It's uh, Ben and Jerry's uh, uh, Cherry Garcia. That is my favorite ice cream. Ah, well, I'm sorry, but you're wrong. It's vanilla. I like vanilla. Vanilla's great. See? I don't know uh, if it beats having little chunks of delicious candy cherry in there, but... Well, but, but the right answer was vanilla. Your favorite ice cream is vanilla, Nathan. <laughs> Oh, did I just fail the test? Am I getting kicked off the show because I didn't know what ice cream flavor was my favorite? I, I do think it's time for for you to go. It's, it's been a pleasure having you on the show, Nathan. <laughs> it's It's been a pleasure being here, uh, Dr. Tom. It's uh, I've enjoyed it. You just watched the Dr. Tom the Frog Show And we hope that you liked what you saw, yo But if it was a big waste of your time Well, it's free, so that's not a crime But if it was a waste of your time Yes, it's free, so that's not a crime